Well, I'm pretty amped for this first trip out to the FAD here in Costa Rica. Everyone's got their goals for the trip and, uh, and my personal goal is to catch blue marlin on my old trusty spinning reel. It's something I really love to do. We've caught lots and lots of blue marlins all around the world, even back in New Zealand this way. What I'm using is the uh, Shimano Stella 20,000. Uh, we're using it on the Abyss um, heavy duty jig rod. 80 pound braid with a PR knot to 150 pound leader. It's about seven meters long. And then we've got a one and a half meter bite leader and a 11 bar o inline circle hook crimped on there. We're gonna be using this for pitch baiting as well as live baiting out on the sea mounts. 160 miles offshore, so pretty excited about now, so let's see what happens. We steamed over 100 nautical miles through the night in flat calm conditions. Upon arriving at the fads at first light, we were greeted with massive schools of bait fish on the surface, and the Garmin sounder was lit up with tight packed bait all around the fad. I finally got my chance to deploy a fresh live bait on my spin setup, and I didn't have to wait long before I got a bite and hooked up to a Costa Rican blue marlin on the Stella. There we go, line straight now. Nice! Woo! Ah! Go for it! The Pacific coast of Costa Rica is a phenomenal fishing destination with flat, calm seas all year round and an abundant fishery with species like the blue, black and striped marlin, sailfish, mahi-mahi and yellowfin tuna. But the main reason we keep coming back to Costa Rica is for the blue marlin. It's an exciting fish with aggressive bites, explosive power and it's a fish that will test your ability, your tackle and your crew work to the limit. Spectacular fish on light gear. Awesome. With the huge number of man-made fads scattered along the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, it makes this a very unique blue marlin fishery. These fish attracting devices hold huge amounts of bait, drawing in marlin to a very condensed area. It's not uncommon to get 5, 10 or 20 bites a day on blue marlin, making this one of the best marlin fisheries in the world. Yeah! That is awesome! On the Stella, my favourite! Franklin, thank you so much. Gracias. Woo. I mean, this guy, is, he's on it so fast driving after them, so the fight's right there behind the boat. We're on the braid, so it doesn't go down deep. The fish, it stays up because it's, um, it's got no, no friction in the water, so they just they swim around on the surface. So, uh, What an amazing fight, eh? That's, for me, that's why I come to Costa Rica and to do the fads, to get this sort of explosive fishing. And it's great to bring these guys here for the same thing, so... Oh yeah, I'm so happy I can sit back now and relax for the day in the air conditioning. <laughs> Woo. Congratulations, cool. Ah. Voila. Voila. Join us on more adventures to some amazing fishing destinations by following us on Facebook or subscribe to The Journey at journeyofafisherman.com.